everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we are going to open up this month's base BoxyCharm box. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the base BoxyCharm box. This is for the month of April. I forgot what month we were in temporarily there, I'm sorry. But anyway, this is what the box looks like. And let's open her up and see. This is also going to be a try-on video, so I'm going to try on all the makeup stuff that we have in here. This video is not sponsored anyway, just me and my opinions. So let's get started. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like there on the inside, and I love it when they cover things with bubble wrap. Sometimes all they do is throw like this bag, and it's this white bag, and it's only about like this big just on top of your stuff and I don't feel like that's very I don't know safe for products to ship in like they don't even put it in the bag they just kind of flop it on top and I don't know I like the bubble wrap better maybe that's just me being fussy but anyway I feel like my stuff's better with the bubble wrap anyway so this is what to do, or this is what I cannot talk today guys I'm so sorry this is what this month's theme is boxy spring revival you get a card and it has all your products with the information on the back along with the prices. This is my variation over here for anybody wondering. All right, and also if you guys are new to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription box that gets delivered to your door once a month. You get up to five full-size beauty products. We can have a mix of skincare and makeup. You can have mostly makeup, you can have mostly skincare. It's kind of however you want. And then you get a choice for every month, uh, one choice beauty product every month. And I believe it's $27 now. Don't quote me on that. I can never remember the new price, but yeah. So let's go with this first. This is the Perfect Duo Quick Beat Verse Mini Base. Coverage, blendability, and precision. I'm guessing it's a sponge and brush here. Let me find it on here real quick. Yes, the uh, Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics, the Perfect Duo Foundation Travel Set. Oh, okay. A flawless finish that lasts all day beginning begins with the right tools. The perfect duo by Flirtatious Looks Cosmetics is the essential foundation to time travel set featuring Quick Be a latex free foam beauty sponge with a unique sharp tip and flat edge and a mini base and exclusive travel size paddle shade synthetic brush with a shorter handle for even easier application. She's perfect for on-the-go glam. Both tools are key for smooth application that melts into your skin, especially in a hard-to-reach places, and this is $30. All right, so on here it shows you step one, two, and three on how to use the little brush right there, so that's kind of cool. And then right here it shows you how to use the sponge, another one, two, three step there. So that's pretty cool. I like when I get sponges or makeup brushes in my boxes personally, or beauty tools in general, I really like. So this is cool. All right, here. So I'll put this, that down here. So this is kind of what the sponge came like right here. Looks just like that. You open her up. Ooh. Okay, so that feels super, super soft already. It's not even wet yet, but yeah, that's nice. Here's that flat end they were talking about right there. And then there's that little part right there. Um, it looks like it's a person winking with a nose, I think. I'm not sure how well you can see that little design there. But that's pretty cool. Um, we will test this out and I will get it wet and we'll see how big it gets. And then they have the brush here. So like I said, it is a travel brush, so it's not like a full size or nothing, which is fine by me. Okay, so kind of what the brush looks like. A nice sturdy handle. Ooh, ooh, this is soft too. That's nice. So I think what I'll do is maybe one side with a sponge and maybe one side with a brush. I don't normally apply my foundation with brushes just because I figure I don't always do it right. I think, I don't know, I feel like I make it too streaky, but we'll try it today. Maybe I'll be surprised and 
Maybe I've just been doing it wrong and using a different brush. All right, so that was our first item. Next one here is some skincare. Studio Makeup Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Serum. That's what the box looks like there. It says here, the perfect serum for all ages is highly concentrated hyaluronic acid rejuvenating serum works to quickly reverse the effects of dehydration, loss, and elasticity. I can never say that word. While keeping the skin highly moisturized throughout the day, leaving the skin looking radiant and youthful, and this is $45. Okay, so I always hear good things about hyaluronic acid. Ooh, that's a glass bottle too. So that's what that looks like, and there looks to be like a good decent amount in there. So yeah, I'll have to try this out and let you guys know. Um, fun fact, I keep these serum bottles, even if I haven't used anything in them or if they're all the way gone. I collect them for whatever reason. Next thing here is, we'll go with this one. This is the OPV Beauty London Loose Setting Powder. Okay, translucent, okay. That's what it says there. Let me just find it here. Perfect for setting your foundation for wear or wearing alone. So you can either wear this alone or with foundation. Whether you rely on setting powder to mattify, set, conceal, or diffuse, this formula acts as a finishing touch to bring your whole look together. And this is $22. Cool. I don't typically use setting spray too terribly often just because I feel like I don't do it right and then it makes my face look too cakey. But I am willing to give this a try and seeing how it works. Get it open here. It's kind of a pretty bottle. Kind of like that rose gold color there. There's the little camera. Hi guys. And yeah, it just looks like powder. And then that's what it looks like on the bottom there. All right, and then that's kind of what it looks like there on the inside. We will definitely try this out today and see how it does. All right, up next is, let's do this one. This is the Bali Bomb Pineapple Lip Scrub. Okay. Kiss the planet, that's cute. So that's what that looks like there. I'll take it out of the box here in just a second. The rich indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin cells plus an ultra soothing blend of the finest botanicals, the super hydrating coconut oil and aromatic Mix of cinnamon, or sorry, I lost my price. Cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essential oils will leave your lips soft and supple, and this is $23. I'm not gonna open up the cap and look at this because I have a, another lip scrub that I'm currently using, so I don't wanna have like two open until I get through the first one, but I can just take it out and show you guys. I have a, um, it wasn't a chapstick, but it was like a Bali Bomb thing for your lips too you put it on and it hydrates them and that works pretty well so that's what the packaging looks like there a little b for bully balm and that's just what it looks like there so that's cool all right our last product here is my choice item and this is the beauty bakery sour ya doing eyeshadow palette that is such a cute name kind of nice reminds me of summer oh cute packaging too Oh, how cute is that? These shades make your eyes squint and then light up in surprise. Rich and bold yet soft for those who want to be subtle. Sour ya doing, I love that name. It's perfect for spring looks, date night, or maybe even a holiday mixer. This is $38. Oh my goodness. But it's a new launch, so that's pretty cool. Let me just get this open here. Then I'm going to come out. All right, and then we will open this up together. It does have yellow in it. I was hoping it would. Little insert here. Those are cute colors. A nice mirror there. There you guys are again. That's cute. Let's swatch a few. Let's short or er, short. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's um uh swatch this yellow one right here. Ooh, they're nice and soft. Ooh. Hello. Oh, that was nice. That's nice. That was just one swatch. That's pretty. Let's do this pink lemonade red shade right here. Ooh, 
Wow. There's the red shade. These are swatching really nicely. Uh, let's do this orange one right here. Cute names, too. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's swatched gorgeously. I love this. I, you know what? We're just gonna swatch one more. Let's swatch or swatch Sangria, which is this kind of shimmer white one up here. Ooh, that'd be a nice inner corner one. Okay, so that was the first swatch. I didn't really do a good job of that. Let me try that again. There we go, that's a little bit better. So there, that is right there. That's pretty though. I can't wait till you say we will definitely be trying that out today. Let me know in the comments, guys, are you guys interested or do you guys like the colorful palettes or are you more of a neutrals fan? I would love to know just because I wanna know what you're into. Now we're gonna get into the try on portion of this video. I am gonna go ahead and put on my primer and base of my face real quick and I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right guys, I'm back here. I just have some primer on my face, some mascara and eye primer for eye primer. I use the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow Primer for mascara. I just put on the uh, Maybelline Sky High Mascara. And then for face primer, I went with today the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer Base. Use that today. Now I think what I'm gonna do first here is hop into this cute palette. Actually, yeah, we'll go into the palette. I also wanted to tell you guys, I did wet this sponge here and look, it did get bigger in size just by a little bit. So yeah, I wanted to show you that real quick before I forgot. But real quick here, I wanted to do a look with this palette here. I do wanna go on with the reds, orange, and blues here, kind of make a cool, I don't know what you wanna call it, but a look with that. Also, this reminds me of something. Let me go get it real quick. So last year around Halloween time, I got myself a Halloween wig and look, it's the same colors in the palette. Let's just put this on real quick for fun. I thought it reminded me of something. Check it out, man. Let me just part bangs here a little bit, move this up just a little bit so that's hiding. Check it out. Look at that, it needs brushed, but I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna leave this on for a while. Cause why not? I'm trying to hide like my wig cap here. There we go. Look how stinking cute. We're gonna just leave this on here. Let me just, woo, not used to having this long hair. <laughs> All right, so enough playing around here. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this blending brush here from e.l.f. And I'm gonna go in with, I'm thinking maybe this yellow shade in the called tart. So tart right there in the inner corner of my eyes. Move the bangs out of the way here. All right, so maybe I am just not using the right type of brush here. Let me try a different brush because that one's just not working for me. All right, so it is on there. All right, so it's pretty pigmented. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with this brush here. My eyes might be done just a little bit sloppy tonight, but that's all right. We will clean it up. Now I'm gonna go on with this color right here. It's called Bellini Me? <laughs> Bellini Me? Right there, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but we'll go with it. And dab in there. Ooh, that looks pigmented. And I'm just gonna tap that kind of in the middle of my eye here. Right on top of that yellow. Mixed up in the middle part of my eye. All right. All right, so that's that. That's how it's looking. 
So far so good. Now I am gonna take my swatch pan here and clean this off real quick. Then I'm gonna use it again. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this red shade right here. It's kind of a messy palette though, but that's all right. Pink lemonade, so this red run here. Put that in the outer corner. All right, that shows up pretty well. I'm gonna use my other mirror here real quick. All right, now I'm gonna take a completely different brush here and I'm just blending that out. So my thoughts on this palette is it's nice. I like the mirror. Pigment's definitely there. It's just a little bit um, fallout-y, I guess would be the word. It has a lot of fallout to it, but I'm not mad at that. Fallout doesn't bother me. But here's the look before I clean it up here. Let me just clean this up real quick, like underneath my eyes so I don't look crazy. Oh, you know what else I did not do, guys? I didn't use that inner corner shade that I wanted to right there. I am so sorry, where's my head at today? Just taking this little brush here, going in with that shade, Zangria. Also, I forgot to mention, this has a nice choice of mattes and shimmers, and that one looks like a pressed glitter right there. But anyways. That one's just a little bit chunky, isn't it? Okay, that this shade right here, it's not bad. It's just a little bit of chunky for me. So there's that. All right, now I gotta take off this wig, guys. I will put it back on when this video is done. We are just gonna set this right over here. All right, sorry guys. Ooh, I look crazed. <laughs> All right, now let's move on here to some foundation for foundation. I just grabbed the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator here and I have the shade Porcelain. So I think what I'll do is one side with a brush and the other side with the sponge. I'll just put some of the back of my hand here. Wow, that went everywhere. All right. So we'll do the sponge side first, which will be this side. And I'm gonna use this flat end here. It's very soft yet. I like when sponges have that flat side to help me put on foundation. It's just like a preference, really. So this is the side with the sponge. I'm gonna switch gears here and we are gonna use this brush here. Hopefully I can make it work. Guys, I'm so sorry. My maximum time of recording has been hit. I apologize about that, but we are back, and I believe I left off on finishing up with my face here and the foundation. I'm so sorry about that. All right, so here is with the brush and here is with the foundation. Me personally, I tend to gravitate a little bit towards the um, sponge side. I do like this brush though and I am gonna keep working with it. I just, 
For some reason, I feel like I just make it look streaky with a brush, and that's why I typically prefer a sponge, but I'm gonna keep working with it. I do like it, though. I just think it's gonna be a practice thing for me, you know? And I'm just finishing out with, on this side, fixing all the streaks here. It is nice, though. I like it, and I really like this sponge. This is nice. And it's cool they gave you both of them to you for a travel kit. All right. Now, I'm gonna try out this loose finishing powder here. Like I said, I always feel like I use too much and then I look cakey, so hopefully that is not the case today. Do we just dip some out here? Oh, heh, it's got a seal on it, my bad. There we go. I was afraid I was gonna, ooh, there it comes flying out. All right, so I'm just gonna get a little bit here in the cap. And there it just went. You guys didn't see that. All right, I'm gonna just try that. I have some there in the cap. And then I am gonna go in with, let me see here. I think this brush right here, this is the e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blending Brush. We'll see how that does. I hope I can make this work about me making myself too powdery or cakey. Woo, all right, here we go. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on. I do think it definitely mattified, or mattified my face, which I don't mind at all. I think it actually looks really pretty. I like this powder. I am gonna take my sponge here and just kind of dab some of that Axis powder in just a little bit more. All right, so there's a close up. You can see there's a little bit right here where I'm losing my foundation and that is not the foundation's fault. That is my fault. I forgot to put on lotion before this video. So that is why. Cause I've used that foundation before or serum and it works well for me. Tinted hydrator, that's what I always forget to say. Oh yeah, I like it. All right guys, so let's just do a quick recap real quick. I went ahead and put the wig, my crazy wig back on here. This translucent powder, I actually really, really like it and I'm gonna be working with it and using it more like that a lot. Um, This uh, brush and the uh, sponge here, I really, really like the sponge. It's nice and soft. It um, has that flat edge there, which I told you guys I really like. Pointed end there, which I really like too. Really soft really like this a lot. I'm gonna be working more with the brush. I'm not mad at the brush. I really do like how it turned out. I just think I need to practice more with actually applying my foundation with a brush. But I'm gonna be working with this more, so I'm not gonna rule it out. And then this palette here. It is very, very cute. Like I said, have your nice choice of mattes and shimmers in it. Uh, definitely a very bright, colorful palette, but I think you could probably do a neutral look with this if you really wanted to. Um, if Fallout something that you know, you guys don't like. This does have a little bit of fallout in my opinion, but I do think it's a nice palette and if you guys are interested, you should go and get it too. So overall, am I happy with this month's box? Yes, I am. I know last month I wasn't too happy if you guys remember and I wasn't really considering not subscribing to BoxyCharm in the upcoming months, but I think I changed my mind with this box and hopefully they keep getting better and better. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this crazy video that was today, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot and I do appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and head out for the day and I will see you guys soon with another new video and I hope you guys are all well. Bye guys.